Welcome everyone to another CUDA worksheet tutorial. We're doing arc length and sector area. This is gonna be a two video breakdown. This is part one. We're gonna talk about arc length. Not too difficult of a concept, but it boils down into what is circumference. So arc length, this is talking about the distance around a circle. Actually pretty practical. Uh, you'll see this used a lot, especially in engineering or uh, landscaping, there's tons of applications. But the bottom line is, how do we calculate the distance of a partial circle? Okay, well, the first thing we need to understand is circumference. Circumference is the total distance around a circle. And circumference, the formula for that is two times pi times the radius. Some people are right, diameter times pi. I like using two pi r um, just because it, uh, you know, we always find the radius and the radius is like the key part of the circle to find, okay? So anyway, that's for the entire distance around a circle, 360 degrees around a circle. But arc length means not circumference, but it means only a portion of the circumference. And I like starting with half a circle to start. So for example, if we had this circle this yellow circle here but we only wanted this portion of the arc length out the outside edge right here okay so half the outside edge how would we go about finding that well we know that the entire circle is 360 degrees so half of that would be 180 degrees now half we already said okay half is 180 we essentially would just take our circumference in this case, let's just say our circumference, uh, just here, let's say our circumference, it's a long word to write out, equals 20 feet for this circle. So if we're trying to find uh, the arc length, the arc length would be divided by two, okay? Divided by two because we only want half, okay? Half the circle, so it would be 10 feet for our arc length. Now, if we want to apply that to a general formula using the angle, because there's going to be tougher things than just half the circle, what we do is we take our desired angle, 180 degrees, we divide it by the total amount of degrees within the circle, and that's always 360 degrees, and that will give us the portion of the circle that we're looking for, for our particular arc length. So in this case, 180 divided by 360, that's half. That's why we divide it by two, or essentially multiplying by one half. It's the same thing, okay? We found half of the circumference, <coughs> pardon me, half of the circumference, and mul <coughs> sorry, <coughs> multiply the circumference times one half. So what's our formula? Our formula is the circumference of the whole circle, multiplied by the portion of the circle we want, so the portion over 360, in this case we had 180 divided by 360, which equals one half, and that will give us the arc length, okay? That will give us our AL. Now, if you're using radians, for those students that are using radians, we know that there's two pi radians within a full circle, so we take our, our, our theta, our desired angle, divide by two pi, multiply by the circumference, and that will give us our arc length. So now we have our general formula. I wanted to explain why it works in the first place, because now it's just a piece of cake how we do it from here. Here's our theta. Our theta is always our angle of our desired arc length. So we have 350 degrees. We're gonna divide that by 360 to see what portion we have. Now we need to multiply that by circumference, okay? By circumference. That's the critical ingredient of this that tells us the distance around the shape. Well, we know circumference is this, two pi r, so we're gonna multiply this by two times pi times our radius, which is 11 feet. So r, which is, in this case, 11, okay? And that's gonna be equal to our arc length. Now it's just getting all our calculators and typing this all in. So I'm gonna start with 315 divided by 360 on my calculator. I get 0.875, I'm gonna multiply that two by two, multiply by that by pi, multiply by 11. Now let's see if it, okay, it says we're on to the nearest tenth. It says not to leave it in terms of pi. You could leave this in terms of pi too. I'll show you both just in case. Okay, so first I'm gonna show it in terms of a decimal. 
times 11. I'm just typing this straight across into my calculator, arc length, not al, arc length, and I get 60 point, was it nearest 10th? Nearest 10th, okay, 60.5, and then I'm looking for my units, feet, for my arc length. Okay, now if I were to leave it in terms of radians, or excuse me, in terms of pi, not radians, it would be, oops, sorry, I want this divided by pi, not multiplied, divided by pi. Okay, so if I just were just to leave this in terms of pi, this would be equivalent to 19.25 pi feet. Okay, so just be mindful, what is your math teacher asking for? Is he asking it in terms of pi or is he asking it for a decimal? Personally, I like leaving it in terms of pi, but I'm just saying. Okay, this one's a cool one, number two, because we have a special angle here, 270. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. So this is 270 degrees out of the total of uh, 360. So 270 divided by 360. That's our portion. And now we just multiply this by the circumference. Circumference is two pi times r. So r is 13 feet. That is equal to r, so we multiply by 13. Now I'm just punching it straight across. One thing you'll note by 270 divided by 360 is that's equal to 0.75. That's three quarters, 75% of a full uh, circle. So we multiply this by two times pi. I'm actually gonna be multiplying by pi, leaving it as a decimal. That's what the instructions say for this. So I multiply two times pi times 13, that's equal to arc length, and I get arc length equals 61.3 feet, and that's my answer. Right here, you'll notice that in case you're wondering what radians are, I have a nice little cheat sheet for you. Um, so if you wanna do this worksheet and your teacher has not explained uh, what radians are or how to calculate them, there's a, a little conversion chart for the main ones, okay? So these are for the main ones, 90, 180, 270, 360. So mostly just gonna be dividing by two pi. That's, that's the main thing you gotta worry about, okay? And let's go ahead and jump to uh, number three. So number three is another 270 degrees, but this time it's written as radians. So we're gonna take three pi over two, and then we're gonna divide that by two pi. Okay, so uh, a little complex fraction going on. And then we multiply this by two times pi times uh, our radius, because this is our radius. Now the cool thing here is we can actually cancel out the two and the pi with the two and the pi. Okay, so that always cancels out and you're just gonna be left with three pi over two times 16. And that's gonna be our arc length. So you can see the radians are pretty cool. Uh, in, in that regard because uh, it helps us find the circumference uh, pretty easy, easily, I should say. And essentially, you don't even have to worry about this 2 pi and this C, you just have to multiply it by R. So if you're trying to find it in radians, I mean, go ahead, this formula works, but I'm just saying, if you're trying to find it in radians, really all you need to do is arc length equals R times pi, which is, pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, so back to here. I'm gonna highlight this just in case. Pause it from the screen if you're curious. Okay, that's a good way to go. So we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna divide this by two, eight, so we get 24 pi equals arc length. And if you wanted to multiply that out, we'd get 75.4. 75.4, and what are the units? Feet equals arc length. There's our answer. Okay, so these are all the same. Again, if we wanted to find radians, we do pi over six uh, times the radius, 13, because essentially we're divided by two pi and multiplying by two pi. Again, uh, the only thing that's different is multiplying by r. So we have 13 uh, times pi divided by six. Okay, and we get 6.8 uh, inches for that. There we go. Okay, find the length of each arc. Do not round. Okay, so, uh, I mean, this is the same thing. Find the length of each arc. Do not round, but this one says do not round. So I guess it's uh, a little bit more complex. Let's do two of them just for fun. Uh, I'm going to do this one on the right, number 10. So we have 150 divided by 360 
times 2 times pi times 19. Okay, so we have 150 uh, divided by 360 times 2 times 19. And I'm not going to round, so that means I'm going to leave it in terms of pi. So that means we're going to have a pi in there. Yum. So we have equals AL. As I type this in, um, you get, shoot, it doesn't give us a lot of options. I think it wants us to leave it in terms of fractions. So we want fractions for this one, which is kind of ugly, okay, because I'm going to have to change this up a little bit. First, I'm going to cancel this. So I have 15 over 36. I can divide both by 3, and I get 5 over 12. That can't be reduced, times 2. That can reduce with that, so we have 5 or 6. And then we have times 19. So we have 19 times 5 in the top, 19 times 5. Over 6, so that's 95 over 6. I'm sorry, I forgot the pi, too. 95 pi over 6. I don't think those have any common factors, and they don't. So 95 pi over 6 feet would be our answer there for that one. And I got one more to do here. So number, we'll do number, let's do number 11. This one looks like it's going to be nice. So we have pi over 2 times the radius, 14. Again, it's t t over 2 pi times 2 pi, but those cancel. Okay, so that's, that's why it is the way it is. And this just becomes equal to 7 pi. Look at that, nice and neat. 7 pi centimeters. It's not centimeters squared for those that are talking about area recently. Don't get, this is a length, not a distance. Or sorry, this is a length and a distance, not uh, an area. Okay, so uh, same thing you're going to do with number 9. Same thing you're going to do with number 10. Um, hopefully not too difficult. Leave me a comment if you need those done. But that was Arc Link. Stay tuned for area of a sector coming up after these messages. Make sure to watch. And thank you for watching this video, part 2 right now.